Hello, Badger Creek. Today I'm going to be reading Argyle Fox to you. This is one of my favourite picture storybooks because I love how Argyle's mum helps him to be proactive and make the best of a windy spring day. Argyle Fox by Marie Latournu. This is Argyle Fox. He lives in a tree in the forest. Sometimes in early spring, the wind whips down the mountainside and through the trees. One such day, Argyle told his mother, I'm going outside to play cards. It looks windy out, she replied. I think the cards will blow away. Humph, said Argyle. Argyle picked a spot near the old tree stump. For a few minutes, the wind was quiet. This is the tallest tower in the entire world, Argyle cried. But just then... Whoosh! Not fair, said Argyle, and he returned to his tree. Back at home, Argyle looked for something else to do. Found it. Would it still fit? Argyle gave it a go. Indeed, it did. In the forest, Argyle created a web for the world's scariest spider. Ta-da! My web is complete. Beware, cried Argyle. You can't play spider in the wind, Argyle Fox, said the squirrels. Beware, replied Argyle with a hiss. Beware or I will capture you in my web. But just then, whoosh. Phooey, said Argyle. He decided to go play pirate near the creek. Ahoy, I'm a pirate setting sail on my ship, Argyle said. You can't play pirate in the wind, Argyle Fox, warned the beavers. Arg, said Argyle, I'll make you walk the plank. But just then... Whoosh! Gah, rotten wind, Argyle cried. He stomped off toward the meadow. Ready for the big game, Argyle held his soccer ball. I'm the star of the soccer team. I will now kick the winning goal. You can't play soccer in the wind, Argyle Fox, said Mr Badger. You'd better watch out or I will tackle you, Argyle replied. Argyle kicked the ball with all his might. Pooped. But just then, whoosh. Harumph, said Argyle as he walked away. I didn't really want to play soccer. On the hillside, Argyle built a castle. I am a brave knight, ready to battle the terrible, ferocious, fire-breathing dragon, declared Argyle. You can't play castle in the wind, Argyle Fox, said the groundhog from his burrow. I challenge you to a duel. On your guard, said Argyle. But just then, whoosh. Gah, rotten, wicked, spiteful wind. I'm going home, cried Argyle. Argyle gathered his things and went home. I'm never playing in the wind ever, ever, ever again. Perhaps if you think for a while, you will figure out something to play in the wind said Mama Fox. No, I won't, Argyle grumbled. Think, Argyle, Mama Fox said softly as she closed the bedroom door. Argyle thought and thought and looked at his toys and thought some more. Just then, he knew. Argyle went straight to work. He cut, tied, knitted, painted and taped. Finally, it was finished. Argyle stood in the meadow, waiting for the wind. His heart pounded with excitement. Would it work? Would he finally be able to play in the wind? Whoosh! Huzzah! cried Argyle. A kite is the most perfect thing to play in the wind, Mama. Indeed it is, said Mama. Well done, Argyle. You kept thinking until you knew what to do. You are a clever little fox. Thank you, Mama.